Fabio Silva and the main man, Borna Barisic, the forgotten man. He's not quite the main man anymore at Glasgow Rangers, but sealed the deal today for Rangers against Air United. It's been a crazy weekend of Scottish Cup action so far. I mean, it wasn't exactly crazy in this game, but we have had the upset of Greenock Morton knocking out Motherwell from the Cup. We've had, like Partick Thistle, we're going to upset Levy. And if Levy showed half the fight that they did in the Cup that they could do in the league, maybe they wouldn't be in the predicament that they're in. It was straightforward wins for Hibs and Aberdeen, but we're not here to talk about all the Cup games. We're here to talk about Rangers and how they advanced against Air United, right? And I'm not going to sit here and pretend that this was vintage, this was classic for Rangers. It wasn't. Air United, I thought, played quite well. I mean, it didn't create, like, the most clear-cut opportunities in this game, but in terms of, you know, a lower league team coming to Ibrox, did they really let themselves down on this occasion? I'm going to go ahead and say... No, they didn't let themselves down. I think Scott Brown's side gave a good account of themselves, but at the end of the day, it was it's always a mammoth task coming to, you know, a, a top team away from home in the league, especially Rangers at Ibrox. And Rangers keep on rolling. It's it's quite that simple. Fire ourselves into the quarterfinals. Borna Barisic, though, so picks up the ball for Cortez, who hit the post prior to this goal. Um... Cortez finds Barisic, puts it into the back of the net, and it was an absolutely lovely, jubbly finish. Uh, tell you what, man, I actually did a request a bit where I had Rangers to come from behind. I don't even know why I took it. It was just to increase the odds. I didn't really think it would happen, but as I point out in my preview, Rangers' form in the Cups hasn't been like the greatest against the, like, the lower league opposition. You know, you think of Morton, you think of Partick Thistle. I believe, did we play air last season? Was it air? No, it wasn't there last season, but my point is we've we've not struggled against championship opposition, but you know, we've not exactly blown them away at Ibrox. So I thought it might have been more the same, but you know, I forgot, man. There's a guy in the kitchen and he's cooking, and his name's Philip Clement, and he absolutely is cooking. Um I thought Oscar Cortez showed really good promise for him. As for Scott Wright, it leaves a lot to be desired. I mean, for all the people questioning why McCausland starts most games over the likes of Scott Wright, I think today was your proof. The guy just doesn't offer anything, man. He's very weak, just getting out muscled out of everything. And I mean, honestly, I don't even know when Scott Wright's contract ends, but the end of the day is when it ends, that has to be the end. The guy's just not good enough. Um, in my personal opinion, and you know, Rangers, like I say, they made it 2 0 with Fabio Silva. There was a handball shout in here. I mean, there was a few headers for air. Jack Butland, there was one corner he went up for and he kind of missed. But I mean, apart from that, it was pretty straightforward from his point of view. And of course, there was the talk of getting called up to England. He'll be loving that. But you know, with Greenick Morton in the next round, Aberdeen in the next round, the Hibbies in the next round, and Kilmarnock also in the next round with Livingston, you know, that only leaves. Four more teams, I guess, with fighting on Sunday. Airdrie Hearts and St Mirren Celtic. I think, you know, tough teams. Kelly, Levy, Hibbs, Aberdeen. I'm not going to say Levy are a hard team, but, you know, if Levy get a bit of form together, going to the Tony Macaroni on the plastic pitch could be difficult, but not this season. Um, you know, Hibbs and Aberdeen, they'll give it Rangers a fair go any day, and Rugby Park will be a tough trip, of course, and that leaves you the other two games. And realistically, it's probably going to be, you know, Celtic, and um, um, Hearts, I that advance, although, you know, if actually, I think St Mirren Celtic will be an interesting game, to say the least, tomorrow. But uh, maybe from a Rangers point of view, you've got a few as well. You know what? We're going for a quad. Maybe it's better for our case if Celtic have to fight on a few more fronts until a wee bit later into the season. But anyway, guys, Rangers 2, Air United, nil. No.